Tether, USDT, is a popular stablecoin that cryptocurrency traders have used for years to leverage their trades. Because USDT is tied to the US dollar, it should be immune to market volatility, which can have a significant impact on the pricing of other cryptocurrencies, such as Bitcoin. Disclaimer, I'm not a financial advisor. The video is for informational and educational purposes only. Hey everyone, welcome to Crypto Trends. In today's video, we will talk about Tether cryptocurrency, USDT, and go over one of the most asked questions about cryptocurrencies. Will USDT always be stable? So, make sure to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any of our videos. So, without further ado, let's get into it. What is Tether? Tether is a cryptocurrency that is built on the blockchain and is tied to the value of the US dollar. The actual currency, as well as bonds, treasury bills, and other assets, are kept in reserve at banking institutions so that they can be used as collateral when necessary. Stablecoins typically have a one-to-one -one link with USD and experience significantly less volatility compared to cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin and Ethereum, which are their counterparts. Understanding Stablecoins The goal of the stablecoin industry is to eliminate price swings caused by market fluctuations, making cryptocurrencies more suitable as a form of savings than as high-risk investments. In a cryptocurrency market, as volatile as the one we are now seeing, where it would be difficult to convert between fiat currency and a cryptocurrency such as Bitcoin, stablecoins offer a source of liquidity. The US dollar-backed cryptocurrencies, such as Tether, USDC, and Gemini Dollar, are among the most well-known examples of stablecoins. Nevertheless, other stablecoins make use of a variety of different assets as collateral. Some of them are supported by other fiat currencies, like the euro or the yen, while others are supported by commodities, like gold and silver. It is essential to bear in mind that certain organizations are less transparent than others regarding the proportion of their stablecoin that is genuinely backed by fiat currency and commodities. This is why it is necessary to keep this in mind. Tether has been at the center of its own issue because it has made fraudulent claims and does not have complete backing. History of Tether and Controversy Tether debuted in 2014 as RealCoin, and the first tokens were released on the Bitcoin network in 2015. It was one among the original cryptocurrencies and one of the first stablecoins to be successful. It was not only technologically groundbreaking, but it also had a respectable founding team, including Bitcoin Foundation Director Brock Pierce. However, as rapidly as it gained to prominence, suspicion and debate followed, which is unsurprising given the coin's status as the first popular stablecoin. Tether has had to overcome a few controversies in order to remain at the top. Despite the controversy, fresh Tether tokens are still being produced as demand grows. Tether, in fact, recently launched on Polygon, which has grown enormously popular in its own right by offering an alternative to the Ethereum network's exorbitant costs, sluggish performance, and lack of scalability. Tether was already available on smart contract platforms such as Solana and Algorand in addition to Ethereum. The controversy is that Tether attempted to prevent the composition of their reserves from becoming public, even petitioning the New York Supreme Court to prevent the state attorney general from delivering data to Coindesk after the latter filed a Freedom of Information Law or FOIL request. Since then, Tether has taken steps to become more transparent, revealing the contents of its reserves and providing daily updates. While this is a good start, certain organizations, such as the Commodity Futures Trading Commission, are still urging Tether to undertake a thorough examination. What to consider before investing in Tether? Tether can be purchased on the majority of the major cryptocurrency exchanges. The question is, given its background and future prospects, should you invest in it? Tether, despite having many troubles in the past, continues to be a relatively stable cryptocurrency that is stronger because of having come through its problems largely undamaged, at least so far. This is because Tether is backed by real-world assets such as the US dollar. Tether is still the most popular stablecoin, and despite the fact that new competitors have emerged over the years, it is extensively used for trading, and it can also be used to obtain loans and earn interest. Tether is still highly important in the cryptocurrency market despite the fact that it is widely considered to be one of the more high-risk cryptocurrencies. 
This is primarily because Tether has seen some difficulties in maintaining its transparency. Conclusion Despite many problems and controversies in the past, you can still invest in USDT as that coin is the most valuable stablecoin in terms of market capitalization. So, what are your thoughts about Tether USDT? Do you believe it will always be stable? Please let us know your thoughts in the comment section down below as it would help others when investing. With that being said, here we come to the end of our video. I hope you like this video. If so, then don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you never miss any video. See you in the next video. Till then, take care. Thanks for watching.